Some say there are five stages of grief and some say seven. But what if you've lost a loved one to a violent crime? Are there more? And how do you cope when it's a case that has gone cold? Ed Murray reports that art therapy is offering solace for some Oklahoma families. Art therapy is using art as a language. It's using form and color to express yourself, to express emotions, to tell a story, to give a visual. OU professor and licensed art therapist Chris Newland works on a table centerpiece for a reception that will close a one-of-its-kind exhibit, Artist Teaming with Oklahoma Cold Case Families. For the exhibit, Newland worked alongside Shannon Hazen, the mother of Kirsten Hatfield, an eight-year-old taken from her home 22 years ago. Bringing us together, all of us, maybe having different stories, but sharing the same kind of anxieties and fears and grief and, and just profound loss and sadness. Um, you feel it in the room and then to turn it into something like we did, art, and, and you saw the vibrant colors and you saw heaven, you know, you saw love, you saw stories, it just changed the narrative for us all. The collection, titled Unsolved History, is on display through September at the Oklahoma History Center. I wanted to give the world a piece of Kirsten that, um, that I truly heal in. Um, I, I know without a doubt Kirsten's in heaven. I've healed in that for a very long time. I wanted to share that with the world. And so it's, it was just a real thrilling process to be able to do that with my very dear friend and bring my other daughter, Faith, uh, Faith Kirsten's sister, into the project as well. Faith has this interesting relationship with time that she misses the time that she should have had with her sister. And so her piece is a reflection of that fractured time. And Shannon's piece is a reflection of an eternal time um, that she sees her daughter completely alive and, and vibrant in heaven and just spinning and happy and giving a little of that peace back to her. Artist Maureen Harvey and Dawn Truby combined with Tina Adams' large family. Her son, Ray, an unsolved murder from 2015. It took us a while to get there, but my artist was so compassionate um, that she made sure that it captured what we wanted. And when, when we finally saw it, it was like, that's Ray. That's what he would be doing right now. The piece that the kids created, I knew that was it right then. Even the artist said, that's good, that's good. This really captures your son. Cause the girls did one side, the boys did one side, and then they kind of pitched in on the other sides of this piece of art. And it's so captured how they saw their dad. You don't forget that it's a cold case, but you appreciate the art. You appreciate that that's something you can have forever. Artist Rachel Davis paired with Sarah Burdine, her ceramic bowl for son Sierra Pierce, killed seven years ago this week. And around the ceramic bowl are three chameleons and they represent his personality. I said that he was a social chameleon. He could fit in any situation, but he was also a protector to his family, to his younger brother and sister. He was goofy and a clown. So there's a, a kind of a character, um, a chameleon with a goofy face. And then he was also a really good counselor to his friends. But this isn't the only current platform for Sierra. He's also the ace of clubs in the OSBI's cold case deck, the only playing card sold to inmates at our state's correctional facilities. It's wonderful. Um, I'm so glad that I heard about it, and then I was glad that Sierra's case was accepted um, to be on the second edition. I'm hoping it brings wonderful tips for everybody in the deck, not just my son, but I'm, I'm honored to, to have his picture on there. It has had success. We've had several, several leads that have come in, uh, which is more than have come in on some of these cases. Um, on some of these cases, nothing has come in for years. And that's why there's an open invite to law enforcement and state leaders for that September 26 closing reception, with the hope art will encourage hearts to never give up. We can't investigate the cases, but you know, it's what we think about when we wake up to every day of our lives. And so we're, our hands are tied and, and we don't we don't necessarily have the, the power to make things happen and, 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 and exhaust every lead. And reassurances that every lead is being exhausted would be the best therapy of all. 
Ed Murray, Oklahoma News Report.